Now you guys need to read Junji Ito's manga. Why you ask? I mean, why not? His work is very unique. His story is nonsensical, absurd, and sometimes comical. Like, just read one of his manga and I bet you'll get what I mean immediately. Not only that, his art style is also phenomenal. It's creepy, disturbing, and every other synonyms of this English word. And most important of all, his work is somewhat thought-provoking. It begs the question, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Which is people's reaction for most of his works. But that's not a bad thing. Like, instead of the manga doing the thinking, it is us who is told to do so. So what are you waiting for? 